What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video I'm going to show you three vintage apple peelers. Let's see how they work. This one mounts to the table, I put napkin under it, so that way we're not going to mess up the table. I got a bunch of apples out here, so we're going to peel a whole bunch of them. Let's spin this, see how it works. That's a lot of gears, and that gear is a blade. Interesting. Oh, check this out, this side here is gonna kick the apple out. Whoa, I never seen apple peeler do that before. So, let's say set it and go up an apple. Got an apple, squeeze it into here, see what happens. No way. That works really well. And guess what, it's just gonna kick away the apple. Well, that was the idea. Didn't really. Maybe I pushed it in too hard, but they go. Very well peeled apple. This thing is so old and works so well. And check it out, and peeled it just into one peel. Beautiful. I don't know about you, but I think this is very satisfying. Let's try another apple. Let's see if it kicks this apple out. There you go. This apple got kicked out. This is a little bit bigger and thicker apple and it worked. I like it. You know what? Apples do taste better without the peel. This thing is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Didn't work for some reason or all. But it did work to push out the apple. I don't know why it didn't work. Let's try this again. <laughs> Look, it does work to kick out the apple. Oh well, let's try another one. There you go. Beautiful. And it kicks the apple out. I love it. So cool. Okay, let's check out another apple peeler. This is very nice. I love all these gears. There's one, two, three, four, five, six little gears. Beautiful. Got another apple peeler right here. Going to use napkins again, not to mess up the table. Oh no, it won't work. I think I have to do it at the end of the table or something. Because you see, it's just going to hit the handle. Okay, let's try to plug it in somewhere else. Let's see how this apple peeler works. You stick an apple like this. There you go. And then we're going to spin it. And the apple will spin. This side here need to be adjusted a little bit, I think. There you go. Wow, that's pretty nice. And it's actually sliced too. There you go. That was my first time, so I was still learning. And check this out. It's actually corset at the same time too. Let me try to push it out. There you go. Boom. The core is out. And check this out, you have sliced up apple. This is so cool. So that way it's even easier to eat it. And it's all one peel, can you believe it? So tiny. Let's try to do this with a different apple. All we have to do is spin it the other way. Beautiful. Stick an apple in. Let's see if this will work this time well. I have to adjust it in the beginning because it just goes in the middle instead of cutting it to the side. So, kind of have to guide it a little bit. There you go. Boom another apple out here. 
and the cork can come out. This one was a little bit of fail. Seems like. Let's try another apple. I love all these gears. One, two, three, and four right here, another gear. Stick an apple. You know what? Maybe this time, hopefully it will work. Okay, with this apple it works. Very nice. Take the apple out and let's see if we can take off the core successfully. There you go. There's the core. Kind of smashed it to the side, but still, nevertheless, look at that. Beautiful sliced up and peeled apple. Okay, one more apple just for fun. This is doing really well. Stick up an apple this way. You see how it's smaller side. I think it works way better this time. There you go. Very nice. I bet if I push it in and pull it out, it'll be a little bit better. But again, kind of sliced up the core to the side. Feel like my fault. I didn't line it up the proper way. There you go. Now it will pop out. Boom. And check this out. Another sliced apple. Definitely enjoy this apple peeler. And it's full cast iron or something like that. It's gonna last many, many years. I'm going to try to take care of it and not destroy it. And I have another vintage apple peeler. This one a little bit newer. They actually have made plastic ones just like that from this design. So this gadget definitely came back, except they made it a lot cheaper than it used to be. Okay, let's see how this apple get peeled up. We're going to twist it all the way back. Interesting. Okay. Let's remove an apple later. Okay. Let me try to squeeze the apple into there. There you go. Okay, let's try to slice up an apple. See what happens. Oh, wow. Okay, same thing as the other one. It's supposed to slice and core. It cored really well, but the only problem is it didn't peel the apple. So let's try this again. This apple peeler takes much, much smaller apples. Takes a long time to spin it back. I wonder if it's there is faster way. I think so, yeah. You can just pull it up like this. There you go. Okay, let's try this again with this kind of apple. Super misshaped a little bit. Okay, let's see if it does well. All right, slicing it, that's good. Yes, it works really well with this apple. Okay, let's try another apple. This one is kind of straight. Line up really well. If you line it up well, it will work well. Okay, let's see. This is weird apple. There you go. Anyway, kind of doesn't work with every apple, but what I'm trying to show you right here, whenever you pull your apple out, and if core stays there, boom. Look at this idea, what they did with this core. You pull it all the way back through, and then you press it here, and it's supposed to remove the core, boom, like that. So weird. Honestly, the older version works a little better than this one. I'm pretty surprised. I thought they would improve it, not just make it smaller. But maybe it's just old and doesn't really work as well as it is used to. 
Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which Apple pillar was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.